The next item is c'est une motion de résolution en faveur. We have a motion uh, for towards a guaranteed liver, de, livable basic income resolution from Councillor Lejard. Thank you, Shelley. Would you like me to read the resolution? Yes, so I will do so. Whereas the growing social crisis and impact of poverty have downstream effects on our municipality, putting unsustainable pressure on our limited resources to deliver necessary public services and necessary social supports. As we struggle to keep up with our downloaded responsibilities, whereas basic income addresses key social determinants of health, such as income and housing, it can alleviate pressures on municipalities to address poverty and fill gaps in uh, social supports, such as shelter, housing, food security, and mental health. Research and different pilot projects show that when people have a sufficient and secure income, their medical and physical health improves. They have the capacity to secure more affordable, suitable, and safe housing, childcare, healthy food, transportation, and poverty rates decrease. Guaranteed livable basic income would benefit individuals, families, and communities, and protect the most vulnerable in society. It would also support community resilience by facilitating, facilitating the transition to a local economy that responds to the climate crisis and other major challenges. Evidence shows that a federally funded basic income that improves people's financial stability is possible. As successful income transfer programs already exist in Canada, for seniors, such as the Old Age Security and Guaranteed Income Supplement, and for parents, the Canada Child Benefit. Therefore, be it resolved that the City of Moncton write a letter to the Prime Minister, New Brunswick Members of Parliament, and the Premier of New Brunswick, calling on these orders of government to work towards implementing a guaranteed livable basic income to eradicate poverty and homelessness and ensure everyone has sufficient income to meet their basic needs. So moved. Thank you. And I believe, Councillor Terrio, you wish to, to second this? Questions? Uh, Councillor Edgett. Uh, I, I just wanted a clarification, um, if I may, please. Thank you, Your Worship. Um, I noticed that the, uh, the original um, bill that was uh, proposed was by Senator Kim Pate, and it's my understanding that our uh, local senator has been very much in favor of the, this uh, bill as well and has been quite vocal uh, upon that. Would it not be advisable for us to contact our local senators as well to indicate that we are supporting? I don't think that was included in the motion, and I would ask that the uh, mover consider that change. Would, would the mover and seconder consider that? Thank you. Excellent. Uh, Councillor Bourgeois. Well, from my knowledge, members of Parliament includes both the Senate and the House of Commons, but th that's fine. My question was related, but um, if it is a national issue, why would we ask the Premier of New Brunswick to, to participate, I guess? Uh, not to say that we shouldn't, but if we do, why don't we also send a letter to the members of the Legislative Assembly? So I'm just wondering why the, the difference between at the federal level we would send a letter to the Prime Minister and to the members of Parliament from New Brunswick, um, and at the provincial level we just send it to the Premier. Just a question. Actually, it currently says uh, that it write a letter to the Prime Minister New Brunswick members of Parliament and the Premier of New Brunswick. That's yes, what it But it doesn't said. say the members of the Legislative okay. Assembly of New Brunswick. It's just a question. Sure. I just want a clarification. Anyone? So, yeah. uh, go ahead, Councillor Legere. Yeah, so, so why don't we modify it to indicate that we will send it to the New Brunswick 
members of the Legislative Assembly, comma, uh, we'll send it to, we can copy the uh, members of Parliament along with Canadian members of Parliament and Senators, uh, and then as, as well, the, and the Premier of New Brunswick. And I think the reason uh, you send it to all levels of government is that it, it's helpful in bringing together more voices and making this a uh, much uh, more substantial national approach. And so uh, that would be the modification. And uh, thank you, Councillor Edgett, for uh, picking up on that. Thank you. And Councillor Terrio, you're okay with those changes? But I, I just need to know, are we sending it to the- Everyone. Uh, to our MLAs because- Yes. Yes, we are. Okay. C'est bon, merci. Any questions? Any other questions? On the question, all those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Thank you.